is Diana here today and today we are working on how to attach and how to make a drawstring waistband. Um, this is perfect because you can add it to different kind of joggers or sweatpants or anything you want to add it to skirts um, if you want to add that drawstring look and an active, an active, a working drawstring. So let's get to it. <laughs> All right, so if you already have a drawstring that you want to use for this, like a store-bought already made, that's great. But if you wanna make your own, you can with just scraps of fabric. What I would do is measure our waist and then add two and a half times the measurement of your waist or whoever you're making the, uh, the waistband for. Um, so two and a half by 175 inches. So an inch and 75, an inch and three quarters. So cut a strip. And then we're gonna fold it right sides together. And I'm gonna sew that raw edge together to create like a long strip. So I'll sew that together, turn it around, tie the ends when I'm done drawing it through. And that will be what I'm going to use for my drawstring. So let me get to that and then we'll actually make the waistband. I'm using this little turning tool and I'm just gonna turn the uh, drawstring. All right, so here it is. I'm gonna put it aside. I'm going to grab my waistband and fold it right sides together right here at that raw edge, short raw edge. And I'm just gonna go over there to my sewing machine, my serger and sew that together real quickly. All right, once that's sewn together, and now this step you could have done before you sewed it together, or as I did now after, but you're going to fold your waistband in half, wrong sides together. Sometimes it is easier to do it before you sew it, because then it's easier to see like the raw edges meeting. It's okay. It's okay if you didn't do it first, if you did it after, like me. All right, so once I have it, I'm gonna go ahead and fold it right sides together. I mean, fold, fold it together so I have my back and this is my front. And I just wanna mark my front because that's where I'm going to end up putting my grommets. So I wanna mark it. And you can mark it with your marker, like where the middle is. Just gonna put a little dot right there. This is my water soluble marker, so it will come off. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to grab my waistband and I'm gonna go over to either my sewing machine or my cover stitch. I'm gonna do my sewing machine with a stretch stitch um, and we're gonna go all the way around. Um, we have little elastics, so like if you're doing, uh, for this particular project is three eighths uh, and so, you're going to sew a half an inch away from the edge to create a casing. And we're gonna leave an opening in the back of like a two, about two inches to fit our elastic through and then our drawstring when we get to that, to that point. Um, but we're gonna do one line all the way around half an inch away from the edge. And then we're gonna do a next one half an inch away from that line. And then the last one half an inch away from that line and leaving the opening in the back for all three of them to be able to fit our elastic. Well, I say all three of them. You really actually are just doing one, two, yeah, you are doing three because you're gonna encase all your elastics. Um, if you wanted to do, you have to have a middle casing to put your drawstring through, so that's why I'm doing the three of them. All right, so I'm gonna measure half an inch away. This is where I would be. I have a little line on my sewing machine that I can guide myself with. So when I'm sewing, I stay right at that half an inch and we're done. Now, before I move on, I'm gonna grab right there where I marked my dot. And you can do this again before, you can do it before you draw the, you sew that line or however you want to. I'm gonna grab some interfacing and I'm going to put it right at that spot where I marked my piece. Because when I go to put my grommets on right there, I want that to be like sturdy so my grommets won't just rip out. So you're just attaching some interfacing right there in that area, however your manual tells you to attach it. So there it is, and then I'm gonna go back and finish my 
other two rows, one, two of uh, that stitch. I'm using a small lightning bolt zigzag stitch for the stretchy. All right, so after we attach the interfacing, we're gonna get our grommets in. We're gonna go a half an inch away from that first, from that middle dot, and that's where one's gonna go, and then a half an inch away on the other side, and that's where the other one's gonna go. And it's gonna be right in between those two channels. So as you can see, this dot is too far down, so it needs to be up higher because it's gonna be in that half an inch mark. So we're gonna do it like right there. I'm gonna grab my grommet right there. And what I like to do is, so here's my mark. I'm gonna push on that grommet right here to like make that mark. And then I'm gonna do it again over here where the other one is gonna be. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open that grommet up, like that little area where my grommet's gonna be. All I'm doing is just like, you don't want it too big because you don't want it bigger than the grommet. You want the grommet to fit in there, but you want it to latch onto the fabric. So you don't want a hole that's too big. And I'm only cutting the top fabric. I'm not cutting the bottom because I don't want to go all the way through. I want that, uh, that what do you call it? That The drawstring to be caught in the middle. So as you can see, here's where my grommets are gonna go. Here's the back of the piece, here's where my um, interfacing is. I'm gonna grab my grommet and I'm gonna make sure it fits through that hole. Okay, so I can make that hole a little bit bigger, as you can see. And it's e it's better for you to be able to, to have to make it bigger than for it to be, and then for it to be too big and then you messed up. All right, so I have one in. And here's my hole where the other one's gonna go. So I'm gonna grab my front piece and fit it right through that gap. If you need to make it bigger, then you can, but it's better for it to be smaller than too big. Here's my backing. I'm gonna put it right on top. You can see right there. So I'm gonna place my front right on top of that little piece at the bottom. Grab that second tool that comes with it and put it right on top. And then we're gonna hammer it down. This is one of my favorite things to do. Hammer the grommet in. And there they are. So once I sew, once I, I'm gonna, one, I'm gonna sew around and then I'll fit my drawstring through the grommet, come all the way around, come out the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and sew that uh, next piece, strap all the way around underneath it, and then the last one. All right, so we've got all our stripes, and so I'm gonna go right here where I left that gap. I'm gonna use a safety pin, and I'm gonna fit it through. But one thing I learned just not that long ago was that if you shape your uh, elastic, like rounded, it goes through so much easier. And I did that last time, and it went through so much easier. So the first one is elastic, and then on the second one we'll put our drawstring in. And then on the third one, we'll put elastic again. All right, once you have the elastic all the way through for all the elastics, we're gonna pull it through right here. And we're gonna go over to my sewing machine real quickly. And I'm just gonna sew a zigzag stitch, overlap them, and sew a zigzag stitch to close them together. Now that I zigzag stitch it together, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it through. And that was my first elastic. Make sure it's all the way in. There it is. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my, my, um, what do you call it? Drawstring. Ah, uh, this, I knew it. It's gonna be too big. Grab a smaller one and feed it right through. Oh, I was gonna tell you, if you wanna go ahead and sew that on up first, that line right there that was open, that gap, you can sew that gap and the next gap because now we just need uh, to, the elastic is gonna go here, but you can sew that first and second first. It's up to you. I might go do that now. That way the uh, drawstring doesn't get in the way. There's my drawstring. 
we're almost done with this waistband. So now we wanna do the same thing we wanna do at the end. I'm gonna grab it and knot it so that way it doesn't come undone. And then last but not least, we'll do our last, I like to do the bigger pin when I'm doing the uh, elastic. Our last elastic, put it through, and then close that gap. And then you will attach your waistband just like you attach any other waistband to your shorts. I'm gonna do mine by quartering my waistband and I'm going to serge it right sides together to my jogger shorts. All right, look at how cool that waistband looks. I gotta trim all these little pieces, but I'm gonna go from the front and the back, because we know this is the front and my seam is the back. I'm gonna go over to the sides and mark those sides. I like to do like a little notch on my side and then my other side. And then my shorts, they already have my quarter points, but just make sure you know which one's your front and which one's your back. I know that this is my front because my pockets are right here. So I'm gonna grab my band and I'm gonna put it right sides together. So this is the right side where my uh, grommets are and pin. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clip all my quarters and then I'll head over to my serger and sew it on, honestly, uh, um, yeah. So you can do all this obviously with your sewing machine, with a zigzag stick on your, zigzag stick, zigzag stitch on your sewing machine as well. But it gives it such a great look of the waistband. So let's go ahead and sew that together and we'll be done. And, you know, trim all these little pieces of, of thread where we started and finished. that we are done how cute is that drawstring waistband i hope this was helpful please let me know if you have any questions about anything that i did comment like share subscribe by the way these are the straight fit joggers in shorts um shorts form shorts option <laughs> and um, yeah they turned out great all right Please come join us on Facebook and Instagram so you can be inspired by everybody's sew and you can inspire us with your sews. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.